of note is that um, A.J. Foyt had one of uh, the most winning um, records at Trenton. He visited the winner's circle a total of 12 times, many of those in Indy cars. Uh, the track um, was closed in 1980. It saw some uh, use uh, by the uh, champ cars. The modified cars ran at the track, um, but by 1980, the writing was on the wall. The track was closed, and to the spot uh, that was formerly Trenton Speedway is a UPS um, sorting facility and warehouse, and also there's a small community that was built on the site. So that's it, guys. Thanks very much again. Hope you enjoy these uh, little backgrounds on what we're pursuing with this uh, tribute series. Again, next week, uh, you can check these schedules, and we will find that you're at um, Sonoma. And that is a fill-in for when the USAC drivers visited um, Continental Divides Raceway in Colorado. And we have a driver, um, uh, John Unsby. He's normally he's a hardcore road guy, uh, but he was at the track in 67, 68 uh, with his father. Um, actually drove around the track uh, with Mario Andretti in a uh, rented uh, Shelby GT350. 350 Hertz model, and he says that that is the track that is closest to what Continental was like. All right, so th so thanks thanks again, guys. Um, again, 48 laps, full course cautions are on. You have two full resets, and remember, incident points do not count as far as disqualification this season. However, they are used as a tiebreaker for the overall league league tip and the, and the assignment of a uh, number plates to your cars. So thanks so much, and um, good luck. And as always, have, <laughs> have um, a lot of fun. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the stream. We're at the Old Bastards USAC 1967 Tribute where we are racing the Lotus 49. Yeah, that's an F1 car. We don't have a USAC car, but they're pretty what close. What year did you say it was paid, Mark? Um, today we're racing at Twin Ring Motegi. That would be the oval version of Twin Ring Motegi. is what it appears to have been. This this is, is it's weird. It's kind of interesting. It's not this is to emulate the uh, race in the season, and uh, the USAC season at Trenton, New Jersey, which is no longer a track, and we don't have uh, anything that's quite like that because of its kidney shape on the back strike. That's that's what uh, Mark was there explaining. Um, but the shape of this track is relatively similar, especially in turns one and two. So that's good news. Um, was able to get the pole. Um, we've got a couple of really fast guys in here, so it's going to be hard, hard, hard to hold them off. Um, the car is very tight coming out of turn two. Uh, uh, and, and I remember seeing modified there too. The, the yeah, they ran the modified no, quite a bit that. of that track. The car tends to get really tight yeah, coming off turn two. Um, um, it's a pretty interesting arc car. that you have to take through one and two because I you can carry a lot of speed uh, in, but coming off that you have to kind of slow I down. I have lost either one of them, but I'm looking forward to it after this race. I guess. So anyway, that guy survived being on fire. He's still alive. He, he used to run up at Stafford, and uh, for, from what I understand, he's still alive. That was in 63, and he was the big guy down up in Stafford Springs when it was dirt. So I guess after that, they called him Blazing Bill? It was always Wild Bill. His car was a black uh, 37 Chevy. I love these cars. V8 was his number. Look good. Anyway. A lot of fun to drive. Guys. Turns you know, uh, the three and four where we're at right now. The crap out of each other the first few laps. They, um, there. It's a much tighter corner. Uh, you'll see me go down to third gear. Uh, just to try to get a little bit of bike coming off. I don't know where the ground is at. So it's really hard. Hey, Green flag. Somebody's got a short second. Yeah. 
aircraft. Try to build a lead here and then save my tires. Go get them, partner. I'll stay out of Save them tires. Alright, for real, be. Thanks, Joe. The pace car is right here in turn one. But he's moving quickly. <laughs> pace car is coming out to checking up in one and two. I wish we could get a 54 on a brake bias. It's kind of short. I know, it's a little bit limited, isn't it? Brakes? Who needs brakes? I don't use no brakes. You guys are joking, right? Yes. No, not on the no brake, on the 54. I run 65% brake bias and wish I could have 82. <laughs> oh, see, we have, some of us are old timers, I guess, with this car and road circuits. I used to use the brakes a little bit here to help rotate the little puppy. Hey, really so 50. 53. I, my knob doesn't work. I guess I could kind of move it or something. My bad. <laughs> Sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> I was thinking that. Yeah, me scoozy. That's what happens when you road is fast closed. So you, you guys turn the car with the brake. I turn the car with the throttle. Big difference there. Actually, I turn it with both. I got a steering wheel here. <laughs> that doesn't work real well in this car. Dude. <laughs> steering wheel doesn't do too much for you in this car. Looks like Mario says brakes are not just for braking. Slowing down. Hey, starting off, uh, the, uh, the, steering, the steering wheel is only there in case you make a mistake. That's all it's good for. <laughs> That's a good thing I got one then. Uh, just something to hang out to. Oh boy. Well, that was a good first run. I wish we would have gone a little longer. Uh, I prefer to kind of get away from everybody, but... <sighs> one thing I'm doing is I'm starting in first gear. So that kind of gets me a little bit of a jump away from everybody because we have to wait till the green to go. Dean Van Van Line Special. That was the Brunner Hawk. That was the Clint Brunner cars. I don't remember that. One to go. It'll Hold line up on the inside. Not sure double file is period. Uh. <laughs> oh, okay. Would it be single file? Yeah, that would be much better. What do you got? 
that there Mike Bamatra from the 60s? Yep. Yep. Slick. Thank you. 67, F1. If they wanted the, a French car, they didn't get a French driver, they had Jackie Stewart. Well, they had Jean-Pierre Beltois too, but it was that was quite an effort. The French wanted to win the Formula One World Championship. Too bad, too bad we don't have the Matra B12. That thing was awesome. Uh, that was quite a sound that thing made. And the BRM 816. That was a walk. I'll go ahead and switch it up to uh, take a file restart uh, for there the rest of the stuff then. That's, that's the kind of information I was still trying to get when we finally put it together. Okay, good luck guys. Hey, it's hard now. Be ready. Green. Outside. You're outside if you want it. Give him a team. Base car is in turn two. Check it up in one and two. Check it up in one and two, Jim. And piece of cake. Well, that's the second 360 I did so far. Is your car okay? No, we've got two resets. Yeah, I didn't hit anything. Yeah, I have to keep driving in the circle. You have one, two, four, Oh, it's rare for you, Turner. You have two, eight voice messages. First voice message. Score. There it is, Ramps. If you give me a call, I want to talk to you about your hands and other players. Hey, Neil, how do you paint your helmet? I could never figure out how to, how to do that. I grabbed that one off uh, trading paint. Thanks. Bye. Message erased. 
and my my oldest son turned me on to uh, you can get Photoshop online, get like the full thing for like ten bucks a month. So I'm gonna I'm gonna rock that. So I'm gonna get me some paints going here pretty soon. I just I just could never figure out how you do. You have to paint a helmet and then upload it. Is that is that how that works? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's the same thing like the car, but you go for the helmet thing, that's all. This car is different. This car, is a, uh, your helmet is a solid color found somewhere on the uh, the L49 template. It's, it's different from your helmet template. I'm not sure where it's at. Oh, I thought that it was, isn't it the, when I've messed around with it, okay, if you go to paint your helmet, they give you three colors, and this helmet is the first color choice. The far left of the three squares is what makes the solid color on this helmet, I thought. There's no way mine would be white, then. I think it's one of the color colors. All colors? Yeah, I think it's the first helmet color. That's what mine is. It's purple, right? Because that's what my first helmet color is. Yeah, mine's dark blue. If you don't have a car uploaded, it's going to use your primary color, I think, off of off of your car. If you do have a car file uploaded I th on the template, like somebody was saying. My car is orange on the iRacing and green. Then it should be on the template that you uploaded. It's just using my, my helmet color. I don't Watch here inside these guys uh timing It's kinda like you know when you, you have like the pit box colors to choose from on most templates. I think this template also has a helmet. Well I haven't I haven't seen seen that part of it. That's cool. My version of Photoshop never showed the layers right, so I could never get it. Back in your seat there, man. Get those belts a good tug. Double check your steering wheel. Get a good look at your switches. Get ready to go here, buddy. Pace cars off. Ready. Green. Green. Wow, it stepped way out. <laughs> Thank you.
Man, this guy's hanging right with me. It's hard to get separated from him. Whew. I'm up to 55 on the brake. I'm walking out a lot. bite right there off that corner. Someone's barbecuing in the pit. I know it sm smells good. I'm thinking about going down there and getting some. I like mine well done. Better go in and get it. I think it's well done. I'm gonna wait on the pace car here, so we'll be checking up. The pace car's got some acceleration. What's that, Ricky? I said that pace car's got some acceleration. They do, that's why I got funny. You could drive through walls, too. I think it's a super snake. Is that the Rob Walker paint, uh, Sandy? Yep, yeah, that's it. Joe Sifford. Yep, yeah, that's the one. I'm, I, uh, I got a guy to paint me uh, Jack Daniels and Coke retro scheme, like the way it would look like if it were, you know, in the 60s. But uh, it's, it's quite a challenge for him because I mean, back then you didn't have dual sponsorships, and uh, you know, so I told him to make it look as retro as possible. As I run JD and Coke on all my cars, so I don't see why it turns out. Sixty-seven is when the sponsors started to show up: the Gold Leaf, Team Lotus, and all that crap. Sixty-eight. Yeah, you're right. Sixty-eight. Before that, it was British Racing Green, or Ferrari still stayed with the red no matter what. Yeah, they just ran national colors. 
Yeah, they were all national covers. The Germans were silver. The road is closed. Yeah, and back then you didn't have much much in the way of paint schemes. I mean, you just had the logos on the cars, but that's it. You know, like uh, all these snazzy designs and other things. So, uh, I just told them to make it as simple as possible. But like Dale Earnhardt's, um, oh wait, uh, Ralph Earnhardt's car, the 8, um, I think that would look good. I mean, that kind of a base, you know, for, for the coke part. Uh, no, no, wait, that would be good for vanilla coke, not for, not for regular coke. <laughs> Indy, they tried to keep the sponsorship to a minimum too, by but they allowed the cars to be called special. So this was the Dean Van Line special or the Bartle special, but they couldn't just have an advertiser on the car. Yeah, all the special. I think even the car that um, Alberto Ascari drove um, in '52, I guess. Um, I think they just called it the Ferrari Special, right? Absolutely, yes. Neil, did you work for Coney, was it? Yes, sir, from 1970 to 73. You have Coney join your car now? No. I got a Saturn view, and you don't put conies on that. One to go. I'm, I'm You're not on the inside. Nine. It's tuned by the guys from <laughs> Coney. Exactly. Are you running a Dean Van Line scheme, Neil? That was the 66 Brunner Park. Ah, uh, it's too bad I can't see it because I forgot to turn on train things before I uh, logged in. So, uh, did I make that from your base scheme? The racing scheme that you have on looks like that. So. The only thing I couldn't get was the blue number circles. They wouldn't come through. Oh, yeah. I don't know how to do that. I got him through in the blue and Pharrell, but not in the uh, credit card. Uh, Alright, I need cars off. Be ready. Ready, green flag. Hey, this is good, man. We just passed halfway. Outside, outside. There, that's a good job. Go get that lap back, man. So that's what happens if you forget the break.
We didn't hit that hard. Spun me around, so I don't know if I got any damage or not. Oh, you did? You did get spun around? Yeah. Once they start to push, boy, it's just it's all over, isn't it? You get in there too. Yeah, you, me, I went in too deep. Yeah. Man, I don't like these yeah, restarts, man. This guy is just as fast as me, and man, once yeah, you yeah, it just seems like there's no grip in the front tires um, after a restart. No grip at all. The uh, I sure love having nice fresh the restarts. Are, uh, it wrote it. You have to be very, very Smart careful. Open him, I'll walk off the bike. Yeah, there he goes, Mark, using it. Tragedy. Oh yeah, he's, he just wants to get inside that helmet he owes and mess with your brain. Devious, caution, sneaky, suck. <laughs> I hate it. Don't forget nefarious as well. This is true. <laughs> I think you're running out of button. <coughs> and, and I'm pretty. He's so pretty, he's on team pretty. Styling all the way. What happened? Oh, I was wondering what happened to the runner. There he is in the Mustang. <laughs> he's cheating. He's got a full body car. <laughs> Saving gas. With fenders yet. Eight tires. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nail tire. <laughs> so who's your head driving under that car, Ricky? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know it. Niels, I guess eight tires is too much grip, huh? Well, if you put them right, that they're okay. But when you start rubbing into each other, then they don't work too much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I thought that stiffens up the tread blocks if you get right next to each other. Something like that. Hey Mike, real quick, uh, Gerald drove the uh, modified tour with a fixed setup and said it didn't feel bad at all. Awesome. That for Martinsville? Yeah, yeah, we just run fixed setups on Thursdays. It's uh, 3.15 Eastern, uh, practice opens and uh, half an hour practice and about uh, 10 minutes of qualifying, and then about five minutes to four Eastern, uh, we uh, just do um, some good, quick, short track racing. Is that the same car every week? Uh, no, no. We do. We, I start with the SK, then I go to the limited late model, then the tour mod, then the uh, uh, super late model, then I come back and we run the B truck, a B car. And then we come back SK, li uh, limited late model, tour, and then super late. And then we run, I think, uh, what, what's the other one, Matt? There's four of them, like the nationwide 
and then we run the uh, the Gen 6 last week at Super Speedways. Okay, I have almost none of those cars. Yeah, I'm getting wood. That's an awesome lineup. Yeah, that's it, Ricky. One Came in. You will be in the bottom this time. Yeah, that late model was fun. Oh, hell yeah. Well, they're having a blast. The modifieds are a blast, too. I actually led for 30 laps. I was I was impressed. Like Marty's my favorite little oval track, too. So the thick setup is the one that iRacing gives you? Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're running the thick setup. If we have to adjust, we'll adjust, but this is just the first season to get a feel and get feedback what the guys want. You know, just because it's something we don't drive all those cars, just to give it a feel. Just yeah. like a practice race and we'll find out what it does. Check out that setup. Yeah, just see what we go with the by racing um, setup. But if it sucks, then we mod it, and then I, I upload it as a fixed setup, but with the mods. So you know, we just get a nice setup that most of the guys are happy with. Thus far, we've been surviving pretty well with just the regular I racing setup. So surprisingly, having just too much fun too, laughing our asses off. Well. It's been great. Yes, we are. Make sure to take care. Of I'm glad you brought this car back. This is a blast to drive. Thanks, guys. I'll be ready. Yeah. Be ready. Ready. Green. Nice, Oh, I forgot what corner I was in. <laughs> that was scary. That was fun. Jared, I'm not on the lead lap. I don't necessarily want by. I'm just driving around now. It's cool, man. Go for it. Damn it! Close, close. I don't like these cars. You're gonna be lining up behind the tank car. <laughs> My car just starts to get going. Now I'm on the outside again. Hey guys, on the restart, tighten up the field. Don't get runs like that. That's that's kind of against the spirit of what we're doing. 
I think I got a better gear than you, Mike. That's all second gear. Did you change your gears from that set mark head? I was staying right behind the, the guy in front of me, and when I when I went green, I swung left and went like hell. Oh wow! Hey, you guys! I mean, I started second gear, and I hit the throttle right away. And you guys blew by me like I was standing still. Hey, buddy, I, I got my you and Mark both. Yeah. Just got a good launch. And like I said, guys, what we'll do is we'll straighten this up. Uh, next uh, week uh, we'll be, uh, well, actually, next week <laughs> we go to a road course. Um, but uh, in the rest of the oval service, I'll go in and uh, switch them across on, to uh, on, go, single file restarts from the uh, double file. Yeah. Mark, do the races, they alternate oval the road course with this, with, with this car? No, sir. It's uh, mostly ovals with a smattering of uh, road courses uh, dropped in here and there. Okay. Mark, my vote would be to keep the double files on ovals. I think it's fine. I think it's okay. But is it historically correct? Hell no, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, I think so. On ovals. Hell, in Indy, they went three wide. That was the original start. Nobody did double file restarts until NASCAR did it with the lap cars on the inside. And then here recently, uh, just a couple of years, you know, what, five, six years ago is when they started doing the double file restarts like it's on here. And that's, that's very, very new. Back in Indy, they used to try to pace the cars to try to keep the original lead throwing yellow flags. Okay, but so in 60, let's say 67, 68, USAC ovals would restart to have been single file or double file, generally speaking? Single file. All right, then that's what we're going to do. I was kind of still looking for that information at the beginning of the season, but it was just wacky. There was a lot to do. And, you know, we came up with this series right off the cuff um, during week 13. So I hadn't had the normal amount of time to really research. So, um, well, you know, hey, it only takes a couple old bastards to make a decision. So uh, we'll go ahead and switch it up. I, I think the single file is probably a little bit safer in this car. Neil, do you know when the bunch of rule came to effect? I know we can't do that here. I was just curious. Which rule was that, Brett? I'm sorry. The bunch of rule where you where the whole field packed up under yellow. I think they tr they tried that for two years. They tried pacing them. They had lights, special lights, and it was a disaster. They couldn't monitor it, so they just gave up on it. So that, that was probably back in the '60s too. So right around this time. Well, no, that's how it was from 1911 to whenever they put in the pace bar, but I don't know when that was. Yeah, I'm not sure. But I, I remember they used to do that, and it was, it never worked. Everybody cheated. Well, what were they, a bunch of racers? Hey, Harry, you have the rule book, right? You know what Smoke Unix says, you're not racing unless, or trying unless you're cheating. Junior Johnson said it ain't cheating until you get caught. That's, that's right. We're on one, one to go. Eight and eight cheat. Uh, you'll be on the inside. You guys know where to find the schedule for this event, right? You go to our league site at Here at I Racing, click on Race Seasons, and it, it'll show you the list of all the different series. Just hover your mouse over the title of the actual series and, and click it, and that'll pop up both a full schedule, including results of finished events, as well as current standings in the individual series. You can check, uh, the only thing you can't check in this series is weather. 
because of it being set to what they call realistic, uh, we have no way of predicting what it will be. And there, you also, there's no sprints there because of we run the tournament, but I post the sprint points in the form. Yes, Cricket Mundo. Sprints run at 7 p.m. on Friday evenings at Eastern Daylight Time, and they run out of the hosted area at the top there where it's tournament. Uh, well, man, let's get those things cleaned up real well. You're ready to go here. Paint guard off. Be ready. <laughs> Doesn't take much in this car. Feels fine though. Hey Ed, don't worry about me. I'm a lap down. I'm just driving. No pressure from behind. Ooh, I'm getting a lot of that today. Yeah, but five laps to go. That's the end. That going to be game over. We're going to have one lap to go. believe that'll be it because that's four to go. Did someone solve what costs the yellow flag? Uh, I got sideways again. I don't know. I stayed on the track. It didn't hit nothing. So I don't know what. Yeah, I just need to, to catch it up uh, short before hitting tops, but nothing happened and uh, it's a bit strange. If you're far enough sideways to get a 2x and you're close enough to a dip to a second car, then it'll throw a yellow. That's just how the arrhythmics work. Nope, nothing. Nothing got. Oh, sorry about that. Well, I, I just pretty much pancake the wall coming off down four and, you know, hey, just open. hardly have any damage. Just nothing. Good. I mean, I just, the car actually launched up. I, I saw that in my mirror. I did the same thing right then, I think. I think that was the same corner I hit the wall, right? Yeah, I just followed you right into it. Well, I thought it was me. Sorry. <laughs> I guess... <laughs> I guess we got lucky because I, I thought, man, I'm going to be, my suspension's going to be bent and I'm going to spin out when I get to the next corner. <laughs> Did you see how I walked by you again that time, Mike? Sorry, I just, I, I can't believe my car still pointing in the right direction because, you know, it's, I thought everything would be just bent up and I had to retire, but it couldn't, have, couldn't hold off Kenny, but, uh, yeah, surprise. I thought these suspensions would just break, just, you know, the slightest contact, but no. Yep. These are lucky. I was going to pass like five of you in the next corner. <laughs> well, these cars are pretty beefy. Well, sometimes. Sometimes you hit something just barely and it'll, you know, shear the wheel off, basically. 
I tend to tumble it when I crash. Roll and roll and roll. I wreck it. I make sure I wreck it good. Yeah, that's what I did in practice. Every time I touched something, it was a nightmare. So you keep it floored so it gets good uh, gy gyroscope motions going on. Good win, Ricky. Congrats for podium. Thank you, that was fun. Kenny was really fast. It was hard to stay, you know, get a gap at all. Yeah, it was a good race and all up front there. Yeah. Uh, two laps to go, two laps to go. Ricky, would you share your setup, please? I'm using the one that's in the setup shop. I did change. I did. Would you share your driver? <laughs> I did change the brake bias, and I think I put half a pound in the right rear tire, or maybe a pound, because I, I didn't like how tight it got off too. Oh, I, I tried that setup, but I had to make some pretty major changes. The uh, both left side tires were way overinflated. I needed to I needed it a lot looser, so I dropped the cross weight quite a bit and changed the brake bias dramatically. Well, you have to use the throttle a lot in one and two to get it to turn how you want. And man, the angle is really really important there because if you get too low right in the center, you can't get off. But if you get too high, you don't get turned down enough. It's hard. I used my Phoenix setup. I went up two notches on the final gear, and I uh, went down to, or uh, I took two notches out of uh, my right rear camera. You know, I was thinking about trying that. Gerald, I think that was a good idea. Yeah, it's fast. I was coming, man. I just ran out of time. I seem to hear that a lot. <laughs> You'll keep hearing it. Now my setup was good on long run. Who just didn't have any? Who won the USTAC championship in 1967? I think it was Floyd. Um, or, I don't know. Yeah, I, I think that it was Floyd, but it could be wrong. I remember reading it, I just can't remember exactly what was that. Yeah, I think, I think Mario won championship in 65 and 66, and then again in 68. Uh, 59 I know he won, but uh, I don't know about 68 and 67. It was Floyd in 67, but not, not sure. I think 68 might have been Bobby Unser. That was the other name I was going to mention was Unser. I'm going to look it up, and then I'm going to paint my car up to look like theirs. Cool. That's why I did the Brunner Hawk, but mine's a 66 car, so. That's probably. <laughs> Yours looks cool, man. Dean Van Line special, that's awesome. How do you like the old bastard sticker on the side there? I uh, love it, brother. All right, that's it. It's a wrap, gentlemen. Oh, that's really good, man. good job, good job. I'm proud of you, buddy. Thank you, good racing, guys. Burn him down. Congrats, Ricky, good race, man. Yeah, that's the phone call the first time in it. It's good time. Yeah, good racing, everybody. I'll call me be down there and your lane. Thank you, everyone. Hey, Robert. But it's great to see you and Peter coming back, joining us. I uh, hope you're enjoying uh, your races with us, old Baptist. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. You're very cool. Well, that's two for two. Perfect races. Pole. Let every lap won the race. It was a lot harder this week. Fun racing with you. Good time. But it's yeah, fun to fun. get those perfect races. Love the family.
Uh, yeah, sorry I uh, screwed up night there, Brett. Oh, uh, you just stopped me wrong. The, uh, what really ruined me is uh, there's two guys in front of me, and I was trying to, to uh, fit my line and completely missed my uh, my breaking point and went through the concrete uh, uh, billboard there in turn three and had to sit and lost, uh, lost a lap and a half waiting on the tow. All right, guys. Thanks again. Everyone have a great remainder of the weekend. I'll see some of you guys in the GT3 race tomorrow. Love that Ziggy Snyder paint job, too. That's awesome. Good stuff. Hey, if anybody's interested in uh, racing Cadillacs on Mondays, my league starts up this week. What time is that on Mondays? We do two races on Mondays. The first one is at 9 p.m. Eastern, and then uh, it's a 20-minute race. That's qualifying starts at 9. It's a 10-minute qualifying and a 20-minute race. Okay, is the second one after that, or how do you work that? Yeah, the second one starts at 9.50, I think. Um, so there's a little bit of practice in there after the race, and then uh, the uh, qualifying and race. Okay, I can't make the first race, but that second time I can make. That's cool. I'll have to run that, Ricky. I'll uh, be looking at that. Cause I like the caddy. It's fun. Yeah. What's that on the forum, huh? Uh, there's a post in the private, you know, area of the forums, but that's the title of the league if you want to look it up. Sure. And uh, don't, you know, you're a member of OB, so don't be afraid, because Chris Roberts, he has uh, his gas series, and um, he posts up. I, I tell him, you know, if you're a member of the OBs and you got another league you're running that's your league like that, you own it, um, go ahead and uh, let the guys know. Cool, yeah. I, I like to run it on Monday nights there, because uh, I'm open, and I know you guys don't have anything it runs in. Correct them and, uh, so you could probably get a pretty nice draw that way. Cool. Yeah, there's just a few of us. I mean, it's normally about eight or nine of us that, that get together, so it'd be cool to bring some of you guys over there, have have a few more. Yeah, we're stuck. We've got old bastards, piss, and gas. <laughs> <laughs> Great combination. Somebody's better to think about changing those names. <laughs> no way, not until they make us. All right, guys. I gotta run. Have a good one. Take care, everyone. All right. Thanks for watching. We are out of here. <laughs>